Hey y'all, Craig Jackson here with Enigma Research Group. We came out here today to show you some more survival tips. This one being how to start fires and using different fire starters. And uh, we'll go over some basic ones. You should always carry, you know, three to four different ways to start a fire. Have them in your pack and they always have your pack. But uh, we'll go over some of the basic ones here. My favorite, you should always have a lighter in, in your pack. You know, at least one or two regular lighters. This one right here is a little pill bottle type little lighter. This right here belongs to Keith McLean. I think this one's pretty cool. It seals real good, takes butane, and uh, and it doesn't leak. The thing seems to last for a while. But uh, anyway, over here, the next pretty good is waterproof matches. They're, you know, these, and they last a while too, you know, but sometimes, and once they get old, I've had them where they just didn't work too good. Maybe they got damp, but anyway, keep everything dry. But safety matches, waterproof matches are pretty good. And over here we have some ferrocium rods, flint and steel type starters, which these are good. They're, you know, not as good as a lighter, but they are real good. The thing about it is you need the tender. So, uh, and I'll, I'll demonstrate some of this here in a minute. But these ferrocium rods and steel, which is always good to buy one that's put together because if you take just the magnesium fire starter here and you're going to start it with your knife, if your knife blade has too much stainless in it and not enough carbon steel, it won't even spark. So this would be something you need to try at the house before you get in the woods and realize you might as well rub two sticks together. But, and as far as all these goes, this is better than nothing. Well, not much, you know. But uh, aviation, this is like a little survival one here. This is an aviation starter. This is pretty cool. It comes in a little self-contained kit and it comes with some tinder here. But this tinder, once you fluff it up, this stuff will burn even when it's wet, which is a good thing if you're trying to build a fire in a wet environment. And it's all self-contained. I, I, I really like that. And it's just a little Air Force thing. Get it at the, uh, probably any Army surplus store. And uh, when we go to tenders, this one right here is just a little pill bottle. And inside this pill bottle is a cotton ball. We take these cotton balls and we impregnate them with something flammable, Vaseline, anything with petroleum, I've tried different hand sanitizers, hand sanitizers that have uh, alcohol in it. They seem to work good, but almost any kind of household petroleum jelly is good to impregnate with cotton because it takes a quick spark and it burns good. So you got to have not only your way of starting it, but some tinder to get it going. And like this one right here, this right here is a blast match. This is an excellent fire starter. It comes with some tenders. This one right here too. This stuff burns when it's wet, which is ideal because you never know if it's going to be wet or dry when you're out there. And it all comes together in a kit. This one right here is highly recommended. I've got a smaller version right here of one. This is a good one too. It's not going to last as long as that. That's a thick piece of flint right there. It's going to, you know, that's going to last a long time. But this one right here, I've used it for years. I've had good luck with it. Uh, can't even remember who makes it. I wish I could have tell you. I'd give them a prompt. But anyway, these right here, pretty easy. Instead of trying to do this, which these are great to start the fire with, like that. And you always, when you have your tinder right here and you're using a ferrocium rod in the steel, what you want to do instead of doing this, you put it down there on the, right there on your tinder and you pull the rod back. That way it directs all that spark right to your tinder instead of spreading it around. So that's something to keep in mind. Pull, don't push. But these right here, these are some of the easiest. This one right here, you simply press down and wham bam, it's going. This bad boy, can't say enough about this one. This one right here is just excellent. But to me, none of them beat a lighter. Over here, I actually have some powdered magnesium, which is better than this. You will, If you take your knife and shave off enough of this, you can just about ruin the edge of your knife. But you know, I wouldn't carry this whole thing in my pack, but I do take a little bit of this powdered magnesium and put it in a pill bottle. I can take this powdered magnesium, put it in a pan of water, and it'll still burn. I mean, that's pretty good. Over here, this is probably one some people know, probably don't, of starting a fire with a nine volt battery. It doesn't have to really be nine volts, but the more volts, the better. And steel wool. And if you're gonna use steel wool, you need either a triple alt or a four alt steel wool. The finer the steel wool, the hotter it'll burn. And you just kind of fluff it up to get some air space in there. 
take the and this right here it didn't quite four off oh, no it's out of that but still and when this stuff this stuff will burn even when it's wet too you just simply put the battery on there and if this was quad alt well here we go here we go and once that steel wool starts burning it burns hot like i say if that would have been quad alt it would have fired up right off the bat but as you can see steel wool burns and it burns hot if i was going to go through the problem or the of actually packing steel wool in my pack in a nine volt battery I think I put a lighter in there first but this you know urban survival situation where you might come up with a battery some steel wool is still an excellent way to start a fire but back to basics you know a good old lighter I carry a candle with me too sometimes if you only have one spark or whatever you can light a candle it's good for putting under your fire to start it for light for heat sources can't go on enough about that either but anyway I mean because fire is gonna be very important you can boil your water cook your food keeps you warm and psychologically sitting around a campfire in a survival situation turns it almost into a camping trip instead of just a survival situation so as important as fire is you need to make sure you can do it you need to have at least three ways of doing it a you always have a lighter a couple of backups and you can try some of these and the thing is this is something that you do want to try at the house before you get in the woods so you'll know it works when you have to but basically that's it in a nutshell you know the ferrocium rods highly recommended this blast match is excellent way to start a fire but uh always have a way to start a fire keep it in your pack always have your pack with you you should be good to go appreciate any comments y'all might put back you might want to tell me how you start your fire in the survival situations but these are just some of the basics always have something with you always have your pack appreciate the comments that you might give us and appreciate you watching